Thank you so much. I love you too. The truth is, without you, there wouldn't have been me. Come on, baby. You had everything in you. I am just here to support. Support? You literally turned a man. A man from the street who cannot boast of 10,000 naira to his name to a man controlling over 30 million naira. That doesn't just sound like a support to me. May Allah be praised. Desire, I have wronged you. I have betrayed the entire essence of love and trust. And I and I hope you'll be able to forgive me. What have you done? I'm expecting a child with another woman. Getting married at the fortnight. But it's not, it's, it's, it's not like I pre-planned it. You know I would never do anything to hurt you. It's just that it, it was just a fling and it, it happened that it's just, just one fling and it happened that she 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 became pregnant. I'm sorry, Hadiza. I'm so sorry. To me now, how did he go? We're able to do it. Eh? Babe, we're able to do it. Then why is your face like this? Are you not happy we're no longer going to be hiding? Eh? Our relationship will now be in the open. What is the problem? I am sad. I am sad. I've hurt a woman who has done absolutely nothing to me than to erect me as a man. Give me everything I ever wanted. She gave me everything I have. Babe, you're not supposed to be saying all these things. At all, you're not supposed to be sounding like this. Let me tell you, God has a way of helping people, bringing helpers into people's life. Hadiza was just one of them. He brought her to, you know, bring us together. You're not supposed to be sounding like this. You're supposed to be happy. 
I'll be in my room. Amaka, hmm? alone, please. If I'm so, so sorry. Honestly, I don't know what I'm sorry. Ask me you're going through this. To think that I trusted her. And I was going to help. Why? Why am I so trusted? I never knew she was sleeping with my mom. Behind me. Why am I so trusted? Why, Bill? No. Don't blame yourself. Do not beat yourself because of this. It was not your fault. Amaka and Chidi are simply heartless. They are wicked. So it's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault. this to me after everything we've been through together the fight with my parents and all why don't, don't please yes, I believe it was never meant to work out between the two of you and as for Amaka I had no idea she was seen I mean yes I knew she was talking about a man repeatedly, but I never knew it was your man. I feel so, I feel so sorry. Even if you knew, she wouldn't have encouraged it. Yes. Come on, if I had known, there's no, I wouldn't have allowed it, you know, right? It's not because you're my friend or anything, but because the first time she met Chidi was through me. Sorry. No, you have to stop crying now. Look at me. Look at me. I said, look at me. You are a strong woman. This two us, okay? Don't let, don't let, don't let this break you. Okay. You're not here yet. I don't know what's keeping her. Let me just call her. Please hurry. Oh. Hell. Mm, so sorry. So sorry, guys. Sorry for keeping you. Um, I'm a, my friend here insisted on coming with us since she has nothing to do in her home. Your friend? Yes, my friend. Oh, you think you're the only friend I have? Sorry. Okay. Amaka here is my late sister's best friend. So she relocated to Enugu from Abuja. She'll be staying with me until she gets a place to stay. Well, Chidi, this is my friend Amaka. Hi. Amaka, this is my best friend, Hadiza. Hadiza of the Most High. Um, this is her man, Chidi. Hi. Guys, Amaka. Nice to meet you. Um, can we go out together? I hope you don't mind. No, we don't. Let's go, please. All right, perfect. How much? 
Salad. Okay, can I have it please? Thank you. Ugechi? Chidi. <laughs> you forgot my name, it's Amaka. Oh, sorry. I'm very bad with names. It's obvious. How are you? I'm fine. You look good. Thank you. And your wife? My girlfriend, you mean? Oh. Well, Hadiza is fine. How is Pearl? I barely see her around these days. Uh, Pearl is fine. She's out of town. She'll be out for a few weeks, leaving oh. me to stay bored in this town. What do you mean, bored in Enugu? Come on. Yes, Enugu is so boring. No, Please. no, no, no. I disagree with you. Enugu is one of the liveliest towns in, in Nigeria, you know? Really? Oh, yes. Just go out and have fun. That's it. Okay. I think I'll just do that. Yeah, do that. See you around. Thank you. Take and care. you too. Bye bye. Bye. Um, excuse me. I want salad and. Uh... We met again and again. And we talked. Which led to other stuffs. Man, you slept with that girl without protection. That was careless now. I know, right? I know. I know. But it was just once. But how many times do you think you have to sleep with someone before getting infected or getting them pregnant? Why didn't you ask her to abort it? Why didn't I ask her to abort it? Of course I did. You should know me better than this. I did. She blatantly refused. What do you want me to do? I, 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 I had to speak to my mom and my mom called her instead and interviewed her. How convenient. So she would not accept your relationship with Adiza or for religious reasons. So what now? Man, I, I tried one more time convincing her, but she threatened to tell Hadiza. So, man, I think next week, I and Amaka are going to the magistrate court to officially do the wedding. I can only but imagine what will be going through our mind right now. Poor thing. BGK. Exactly my point. I feel a chunk of guilt in me. I, I, am, I am so sorry, but I don't know how to tell Adiza. She doesn't deserve this, man. She doesn't deserve this. You know how, how nice and good this lady has been to me. Why would I just hurt her this way? How would she feel about it? I don't know. I, I am too ashamed to even face her. That's why I've not gone to her place to pick up my stuff. Man, I messed up. Maybe you should give her some time to get acquainted with the new development. Because if you go close to her right now, she might do something drastic. Come on, man. Her desire is too soft. She can hurt the fly. Makes no go shock you. Never hear fear woman. Continue. They play. Babe. It's been days now. You have neither had anything to eat. Nor stepped out of this house. Had these. Your business is suffering. You've come too far to let your business fall because of a man who doesn't care whether you are alive or not. My chidi got married this morning. And I am not the woman. I totally understand. But your life shouldn't end because of this. Do you want to kill yourself because of a man who is so heartless, who left you, who doesn't care if you're dead or alive? He does not care about you. 
That is, you're beautiful. You're successful. I'm sure you will get yourself a good man. Because you deserve one. Okay? It has happened. And there is nothing we can do about it. And even if you do anything or hurt yourself the more, will it nullify the wedding? Will it bring him back to you? No, right? So please, please leave me alone. Leave me, let me run away my sorrows. Okay. <laughs> I will leave you to mom. But please, you need food to mom. Else you will be the mom. And I'm not ready to lose my best friend. I am not ready to mourn you. Okay? <laughs> Adisa. That man is not worth those tears. You don't have to break yourself because of a useless man. I'm sure even if you die today, he would not come. He wouldn't even know that you're gone. Why don't you just see Pazzi leave me? Adi... Adisa, do you really think I pity you? I, I don't. I don't pity you at all. Because you need to stand up and help yourself. So I don't even pity you. I'm not really sure that I exist. Really sure Do you know what you're doing? Are you just following in self pity? You're stronger than this. Because if he does, why can't I feel it? The last time all I felt was pain. Look, I'm, I'm traveling to this house. And I don't want to come back here and meet your dead body. I'll make sure that food is delivered to you at least twice a day. Please, Make sure you open the door for the delivery person. Okay? I don't want to be single no more. I just want to be with the right one. I want to be alone. Babe, finally it's over. You can now be together and not hide from anyone like ever again. Oh, yes. I'm so happy. I am too. Baby, I promise to be the best wife to you and the best mother to our children. <laughs> Why don't you be the best wife right here on my bed? Babe. Of course. Are you not tired? Tired? I know. I can never be tired of the most amazing woman on planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I can have you all week and still want more. But what are we waiting for? Good day, Mom. You ordered something from Mickey's food? Are you Miss? To get the alert. What is keeping it? Amaka, I told you I don't have the money. Right? And I told you I need it urgently. Chidi, I can't register for my in a public hospital. You know that. So what's this delay? Amaka, 
Okay, I'm processing the money, but then you have to give me up to like a month, so maybe ending of the month. And what, and what, what month? What are you saying? Chidi, I am three months gone already, in case you have forgotten. So I need the money ASAP. Get the money urgently. Get it now, I need it for the end of tomorrow. What is the meaning of this? Ah! Amaka, there are a lot of public hospitals that are very good in this. And I will not go there. I cannot have my first child. This Point of correction. I cannot have any of my children in a public hospital. It has to be a private hospital or outside the country. So send me this money. I don't care how you're going to get it. I want the money before the end of tomorrow. I told you from the beginning, private hospital or we travel outside. You said private hospital. Why are you changing it now? What is this supposed to mean? Amaka, why do you talk as if I stashed money somewhere that I can easily go and give you anytime you want? I told you I don't have this money. How else am I supposed to explain it to you? Why, what is that not to understand? Oh, I understand you perfectly. I do. Trust me. But please, when I get this money elsewhere, I hope you understand too. Excuse me. Amaka, what's the meaning of that? Amaka, what's the meaning of... Mm. Babe. Yeah. I love you so much. Can I love you more? Um, baby. Yes. I was going to ask if it would be possible for me to get back the 15 million naira you borrowed from, from me. You know, I am running out of stock and need restocking. So... You know, I am low on cash since we started your company last year. Yeah. Yeah, baby, I, um, I get it. I, it's not like the money, it's not there. The money is readily available. I get it. But then my company has this new contract we just signed and we need money to execute. So pulling out 15 million naira from the company's account will really, really terribly affect us. But why don't you give me till next weekend? I will run around and see what I can do. Ah, oh, babe, next weekend. Please. That seems far. Please. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll wait. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Anything for you, my love. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sure that love exists. I'm not really sure that love exists. Cause if he does, why can't I feel it? The last time all I felt was pain. Yeah. Cause yesterday I saw this beautiful, beautiful things that was said about love But yet I can't believe Just yesterday I saw this beautiful, beautiful things that was said about love But yet I can't feel it But when tomorrow comes I don't wanna be single no more I just wanna be with the right one I don't want to be all alone I just want to love again I don't want to be single no more I just want to be with the right one I don't want to be all alone I just want to love Hold again Ooh, love again Oh, bro, right on time <laughs> Big guy, what's up? I'm alright, bro. Uh -uh. You're right on time, bro. You know, I'm always on time, my guy. <laughs> How far now? How's the fresh the group? What's the way we can see? Look how fresh you're looking. How about this marriage life is looking well on you? <laughs> Go on, man. Oh. I beg you, stop. You can say that again, anyways. Well, true. Hi. Good day. Oh, B. You are done already. We are almost famished with the aroma and everything. Food is ready, right? Eh? Mm. Which food? 
the one you're eating, the one you just cook. It's ready, and that's what I'm eating. So please, can you, you know, dish ours? I think uh, my friend here is very hungry. He's a chronic bachelor, remember? And I'm hungry too. Please, can you dish ours? I don't understand. Chidi, you know I'm pregnant, right? You know my condition. So you expect me to stand in the kitchen stressing myself, cooking community food. It's not possible now. Mr. Bachelor, please not Mr. Biggs. This is a fast food. So if you're hungry, you go out there and get yourself food. What nonsense. Excuse me. Sorry, bro. Those are signs and troubles that comes with early pregnancy. If you don't mind, I can go inside and make your noodles to eat. Okay, I don't mind. <laughs> beggar has no choice, my guy. You know, be beggar, my guy. Calm you down. You disguise. Pepe, let me check you. <laughs> You're all serious. <laughs> ah, God. You scared the shit out of me. Who are you? I'm the one assigned to deliver your food. I delivered this yesterday. Drop it and leave. I notice you haven't opened it. I said drop it and get out of my house! I'm sorry. How are you doing now? How was the day? Fine. What's the problem? Did someone got you angry? No. So why the monosyllabic words? Fine. No. What's the problem? Isn't it all these money Miss Road girls? I think they can insult me because I'm doing a delivery man job. Just misbehaving anyhow. I see. How do you see? Someone got you pissed off at work and here you are venting the whole thing at me. As usual. How did I vent? See. I ask you a question, you reply in a few words. Have you eaten? No. Well, I made nice pug. I'm sure you're hungry. Yeah, I'll we'll probably just uh, manage it. Hmm. Let me see your option before. Come, call me, let me get your food. that I don't understand what was the meaning of what <sighs> I do not like the way you spoke to my friend I did not say anything bad to him what, what did I say what did, what did I say wrong nothing babe I am married to you not your entire circle of friends you know that 
Besides, you know my condition. I am pregnant. I can barely cook for myself and my unborn baby. I don't cook for your friend that has refused to be responsible. Yes. See, you're a married man now. You need to start acting like one. All these your single friends, cut them off. They cannot contribute to your home, to your marriage. They cannot advise you. They have never been married. What can they do for you? You need to know what you're doing. I don't, I don't understand you. Come on. You're choosing my friends for me now? I never said so. I was only advising you like a good wife. But if you don't see it like that, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Now you listen to me, Amaka. I can take anything from this life. Everything I can take them from you, but not you trying to run my life. They are my friend. I discard who I want to discard. It's solely my decision. It's my private life. Do you understand that? Yes, my husband. I have heard you. Excuse me. Hey, <laughs> and that shall never end. Two clients came two days ago, ma'am. But they refused to do business with us because they insisted to speak with you. <laughs> but since you gave strict instruction not to refer anyone to you until you resume, we had to obey you, ma'am. Ma, according to my estimation, those clients would have made us over 10 million naira. Come in. Good day. Sandra, you can leave. Just drop the file, I'll work on it and send it to you. I am very sorry. I sincerely apologize for my irrational behavior yesterday. It's fine. No, it's not. I spoke to you rudely yesterday and it's not in my nature to be like that. I just haven't been in the right frame of mind. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay, Ma. I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Mr. Mike. Thank you. I'm sorry how my wife spoke to you. You know one thing about pregnancy with women. <laughs> it's fine, bro. I, I've forgotten about it. I understand. My God. <laughs> How for now? How is business? Not so good, bro. Which is one of the reasons why I called you. Okay. Shoot. Let's hear it. What is it? I'm Chidi. I don't know if you can help me with a soft loan. Say, um, one million naira. I promise to pay back. Just that things are so hard for me right now. And you know, I just finished the house in the village for my folks. And it's really drained me. And schools are resuming next week. I have to send money for my son's fees and provisions. So I'm really down, so I don't know if you can help me. Ijike, you're my good friend. I, I just don't want to. You know, I'm not really a fan of um, separate parenting. Why don't you make our things with you? Baby mama and you guys be together. I'll work towards it. I will. I promise. So, so about the money? Mm. The money. Um, HK, it's not like I am ignoring the money and you, 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 you are aware I just finished my wedding and then and I stepped into 
being a family man full time. You know, I do not have one million naira right now to give to you, but I can spare three hundred thousand. You don't have to pay back. Are you serious? Yes, I'm, oh, come on, my guy now. Oh, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. So sorry, thank I wish you. I had the money, I would have, you know, given you the money. It's fine, it's fine. So sorry, my God. <laughs> thank you. Alpha, but bro, try and marry that girl. You, when you marry her, you enjoy what I'm enjoying, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I go marry her, make uh, phones uh, just uh, different. I mean, phones go Make a fish like, you know, just say bling bling, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Skipped a delivery, right? I wouldn't know. I wasn't the one who hired them. To wise every day. That is the deal. You should call them and ask. Eh, yeah, so that you go refuse again, Abby. Hope say so you know they let my money waste too. You should have asked me first. Yeah, that food cost, no be. Anyways, just calling to check on you. When are you coming back? Don't know yet. Okay, I should be back by next week. All right. All right. Take care of yourself, okay? Bye. Where are you coming from? I was out to see a friend. Don't lie to me! How dare you lie to me! Do you know the only friend you have in this town is out of town? Yes, and that's Belle, she traveled! Where are you coming from, Tama? I have answered you. I went to see a friend. If you don't want to believe me, that's your own cup of tea. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Are you crazy? Are you mad? Are you stupid? Don't you dare in your life raise those God forsaken hands on me again. Are you mad? You think I'm that weakly in your ex that you hit at any given opportunity? Eh? Don't you try it. If you ever raise your hands on me again, I will make sure you don't use them again. Rubbish. Sorry, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Who was the young man I saw you with outside Mickey for this? Oh, that was Sonny, our family friend. I didn't know you were around that area. So you ignored my calls because you were with a family friend? Uh, no, babe. I thought it was something I could call back since I was already talking with you. You thought it was something you could call back, but you never did. It was your father! 
or your mother to see my calls and you take them. Let this be the last time this will happen again. If it happens again, I won't just slap you. I will continuously hit you. Let it not happen again. Rubbish. Ready. Babe, I said dinner is set. I'm not hungry. Why? You haven't had anything all evening. Come, so you can try to eat something. Hadiza, I said I am not hungry. Why are you finding it difficult to understand? Babe, you're yelling. Then stop being a bug. If I said I am sorry, I shouldn't have spoken back at you. Like I said, Sunny is just a family friend and nothing. You know I only go to Mickey's food to eat whenever I don't cook. So I stopped by for lunch and I bumped into him. I'm sorry, babe. It won't repeat itself again. And not returning my calls? I was going to call you back when I'm done with him, but I called and you didn't answer. So I, it's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. That too won't repeat itself again. Please. Are you sure? This evening. Uh, yes, I'm sorry about that. I had a lot of deliveries today. But, but your food is here now. Uh, thank you. Um, tell me, why are you the only one that delivers food to me? I thought you guys work and shift or something. Yes, we do. Well, because my house is close by, my manager asked me to deliver your food this evening. But well, usually my shift is in the morning. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I don't know what the exterior of the house looks like, but I would go with the design that has the, the gold chairs, if I was the one designing. Thank you.
ah, that, that cheated guy is just something else. Can you imagine after I condescended so low as to ask him for a soft loan of just one million naira? He had the guts to look me in the face, to list all his responsibilities and problems to me. Then later, he refused to help me. A low life swine that was helping before Adiza came into his life. Babe. It's okay, you don't have to feel bad. We're going to take everything that he has. Everything he has ever worked for. We'll take it all. He won't see it coming. I wonder what's keeping the guys. I like to think girls were the ones that take time to get ready. Well, I guess your man is busy making up. <laughs> I guess so. Oh. But... <sighs> hey, beautiful ladies. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry for keeping beautiful ladies like you waiting. Well, I guess the peck made up for it. I can do more if you want. <clears throat> Please, let the single breathe. Oh, come on, pal. How are you? Mm. Someone finally recognizes that I'm here. Hello. Oh. I'm fine, thank you. You're educated. Good to see you. Same here. And Pearl, who do we have here? Well, this is Amaka. Amaka, meet my troublesome best friend, educate. Nice to meet you. Same here. Um, okay, um, enough of the introductions. I am hungry. It's a rotary game. Yes. Hungry. Super hungry. Waiter! Amaka, what are you doing here? Who did you leave my store with in Abuja? Our son, you mean? Well, if you must know, I came to Enugu for greener pastures in search of a better life. And Pearl is Chidima's sister. You remember Chidima, right? My best friend from school. So you would leave Abuja if you did not deem it necessary or appropriate to let me know? To know if I would accept it or not? Why should I want to let you know? Does your opinion count? Is it important in my life? Does my opinion count in your own life? How many times have I tried to reach you, to communicate, to tell you my problems, struggles, things I'm dealing with? You do not respond, you don't listen to me. All you care about is your son, your son, your son. And that's your son. When was the last time you sent him money? For feeding or school fees or whatever? But I told you I was walking towards it now. But things are so difficult for me here. Really? For how long now? It's been almost a year. Were you expecting my son and I to starve? We should die because we're waiting for you. Wait till eternity. But I told you I was walking towards it. Moreover, why would you leave Abuja, a place of better opportunities, and come here? Why don't you stay there and, and, and look for something to do instead of coming here? Well, Pearl promised me she had one or two connections that could help me, so I didn't have a choice. I had to make a move, not like some other people. Amaka, nobody has to know that you are my baby mama. You don't even have to say that. Do you think I'm proud to be a baby mama? Who are you? Please don't even mention it again. Hello? You know, Pearl, I'm right outside the gate. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Amaka, Amaka, wait, wait. Meet me tomorrow at the restaurant. 10 a.m. We need to talk. What for? For a solution to all these problems. Please. your best friend? Best friend? That's what he goes about introducing me as. He'll never be there for me when I need him. Instead, he'll make it difficult for people to, to give me favors because they think that my friend is rich. 
And have you tried talking to him about it? Maybe he doesn't even know what is happening. Do you have any idea how much I have tried? The only thing he would do is just to list all his problems to me. So he wants to get at him with me? Tomaka, I have given so much to this guy. And all I ever got in return was just miserable breadcrumbs on the floor together. Are you aware that what you're asking me to do requires me to sleep with him? But you're not a virgin. Plus, this is for us and our son. How is it for us? Amaka, the reason why I haven't come all this while is because I don't want to come for just a relationship. I want to come with the ring. So why haven't you? Because I don't have what it takes to take care of you and our son. Never stop loving you. I've always loved you. Please, let's get this guy to marry you. And you and I would collect everything he has, every money he has. And you and I and our son will move to South Africa. Please do this for me, Amaka. I will. I shall provide you with every information you need for him to fall in love with you. And what if he doesn't? Then uh, we pin a pregnancy on him. A pregnancy? EGK, you actually want me to sleep with this guy? Of course, Amaka. Except maybe you've forgotten all your seductive moves. It's time for you to go. What? No. I'm not going back to that brute. <sighs> Come on, baby. We know we've gone a long way. We cannot afford to spoil things now. Listen, and as for him being a brute, after last night's incident, he will never raise his hands against you again. Okay, fine. Babe, just so you know, I'm only going back there because you're insisting. Nothing else. I know, my love. And soon, you and I and our son will go to South Africa and live there forever. Okay? Very soon, all right?
Madam, what's wrong with you? What's the problem? Your drugs. Where is it? What? Downstairs. Where? Where is it? Which side is it? Please don't leave me. Okay. 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 Just hold on. First of all, you need to eat. Chicken, no woman. No woman has ever, ever in my entire life disrespected me like that before. Bro, I understand, but you have to let it go. You remember what you told me, right? That her behavior could be as a result of her pregnancy, and it's her first time. Come on, Ejiki, I doubt. Why? What do you mean, why? Ejiki, what do you mean, why? I was right in front of her. I saw the venom oozing out of her eyes and ready to attack me. I, 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 it felt like, like a dragon that has been caged for a long time and finally got released. Ichiki, I've never seen any human being under the surface of this earth that vicious. By any human being, you mean Hadiza, right? Of course Hadiza is better. Hadiza is better off. No matter what I do to Hadiza, she's always there. She's always there, approaching me with love and compassion. You must miss her a whole lot. Obviously, I miss her. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't miss a loving and compassionate person like Adiza? Well, you're still, bro. This too shall pass. What if it doesn't? What if it doesn't, Ejiki? I am dying slowly. May I, may I ask you something? Didn't you spend time with this woman before marrying her? Chiki, I thought I did. I thought I did. The little time I spent with her, I thought I knew her better, but I don't know this woman. You, 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 God. Chiki, believe me when I tell you that a man, who can I want woman? I am dying slowly inside. This woman is something else. I thought I knew her. Because I'm really shocked though, because to think any woman would take you away from Adiza is really shocking, guy. But anyway, just calm down. Everything will be fine, okay? You're in this already and you have to make it work. Plus, she's carrying your child. Oh, I would have allowed Amaka approach Adiza and tell her whatever, you know, all those why she was threatening to tell her. I would have just allowed her. I would have gone to Hadiza and apologized to her. Probably she might just forgive me, 
instead of allowing Amaka to manipulate me like this? How, how did she manipulate you? Can you not see? Are you making this matter worse already? Can you not see? This woman doesn't give me a moment of peace in that house. No moment of peace. I don't know what happened to you, madam. But nothing is more important than your life. Not money or fame or love or friends. You can lose all of that and still get a replacement, a better one. But once your life goes, it's gone. It's over. There is no life without him. He is my fame. My best friend. My lover. My everything. He is my life. He wasn't any of that, madame. If he was your life, you wouldn't be alive by now. Please, take care of yourself. Please. Adiza. Sorry? My name is Adiza. Mike. I'll be right back. Amaka, I think you should be more calmer and respectful with him. I don't understand you. Why are you confusing me? That was not the plan. You asked me to be rude and harsh and disrespectful. So you give me space. So why are you changing things now? You know, that's always your problem. You can't just listen and obey simple instruction. You must always argue. I am not some kid who can just come and give instructions that won't ask questions. Why do you want me to change the plan? You should answer me. Because he's already missing Hadiza. And he thinks you're manipulating him. So that fool has some sense after all. Hmm? Chidi is no fool. And the only reason why you are succeeding is because I am your guide. And if he as much as finds out that both of us are together, <laughs> you wouldn't imagine what he would do to us. Educate. Am I sensing fear in your voice? Are you scared of him? Don't be ridiculous, Amaka. I am only trying to help. So we do not lose what we have worked for. So, sweetheart, go back home, loosen up, be more respectful, and treat him like the king he is. Do you understand me? Is that clear? Yes. Anything else? No. Nothing else. Good. You tired of this whole chidi, chidi, chidi? Let's talk about us. What is the plan, EGK? When we take his money, when we... What do we do next? I need to know. Everything will be fine, okay? I'm done with the dishes, ma. Oh. Yeah. She didn't have to. No, it's okay. I, I, I know. How are you feeling now? Ah, uh, better. Okay. Okay, that's good. I'll be heading back now. I still have some packages to deliver and to pick up. So I'll uh, see you later. Uh, please, c can you help me deliver something too? I'll pay. Okay, sure. What is that? Um, the design. I choose the one with the gold color. Okay. Okay. So you text me the address later. I'll, or you just take it to me, I'll, I'll see you later. Mike. Thank you. You're welcome, Hadiza. And I'll be bringing your lunch earlier today. I think I'll be too exhausted after taking care of you. I don't know if I can come back and do that again.
My friends keep telling me how beautiful it is to be in love. I tried a couple of relationships, but it didn't work out. Because those men never excited me. Then I met Chidi. He was handsome, loving, and intelligent. He also listens to me. The very first day I met him, he swept me off my feet. I was with my parents. Then he walked up to me and said, he wanted to talk with me. His confidence is second to none because no man has ever done that before. But my parents were against the relationship because he wasn't from the North and he was very poor. Then I decided to, to give him some money to help him start up his business and you know I supported him with my customers for patronage and when things became better my parents finally agreed and then he started changing <sighs> he hates me at every slightest provocation he scolds me for anything or nothing. But none of those mattered to me because I loved him. <sighs> Until that fateful day. Okay, stop. Enough. Please. I don't know what this guy did and I don't care. But I see in you a strong woman. A woman who deserves a man who will love her, respect her, and support her. And by God, I will do everything in my power to be that man for you. I will. So please stop crying. I shouldn't have done it. Uh, no, it's fine. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. Chidi, what is it? Leave me alone. I want to sleep. Baby, but I want to sleep too. I want to sleep too, but I can't sleep without making love to you. You better sleep, oh. You better find a way to sleep. Oh, Chidi, I'm pregnant. I need to rest. You, you know I'm carrying a baby here. I'm having headache. I'm having stomach pains. I don't have strength for your moral desires. Leave me alone. Ah, ah. Wait. You, you, you call me trying to make love to my wife a moral desire? What do you want me to call it? No, tell me, what do you want me to call it? You're disturbing me. Allow me to sleep. Immoral desires.
lazy girl. You're still sleeping, Abby. <sighs> Why are you such a pain in the neck? Huh? Is it a crime to have a friend like you? Can't I have a peaceful day for once? <laughs> Shame on me, you don't get mind. You don't get strong mind. They, they insult me like this, eh? Um, Pearl, please, can I call you back? Okay, I'm waiting. Choosing to walk out of this room rather than lying here and staring at your most pretty face is the most difficult decision I'd ever have to face. See you in a bit, baby. Again. My friends keep telling me how beautiful it is to be in love. Wait, you mean to tell me that you had sex with a delivery boy? Hey, babe, no, we didn't have sex. We made love instead. <laughs> Gosh, babe, this guy is a super lover. Like, you needed to see how careful he was with my body. <laughs> you know, he started from my toes, then to my chin, and up to my knee. Oh, God, babe. <laughs> and then, hmm, I started vibrating like a bastard, my neighbor generator. <laughs> He finished me, and when he got to my tie, he then stopped and asked, Guess what, babe? That was the best thing I have ever heard in my entire existence. My friend has fallen in love again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. But if what I had with Mike is exactly what I feel, and I am ready to be there for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm, I may want to go kill you. Fine, you can run down here. I have enough gist for you. Gosh. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm waiting. <laughs> Maka, please, did you see the green file with Manet broadly written on it? No.
Who are you? I'm Hadiza's friend. And who are you? Who is that, babe? Chidi. Um. Sorry, I. There is a file I was actually looking for in my place. A document, very important document inside a green file. So I figured I, I had left it here. So I came to pick it up. It's nice meeting you, Mike. Thank you so much. So I will run along. You might not feel the same way. I know you might be catching crews with me, but I just had to say it. I love you, Mike. Wait, what? Did I say anything wrong? Yes, you said something wrong. You said something very wrong, Hadiza. How dare you say I'm catching crews with you? Um, what would you have me think? Look at you. You are young and annoyingly handsome. You could possibly get any girl of your choice out there than being with a broken woman like me. Listen, I can choose to be with a broken woman if I love her. And I love you, Hadiza. I loved you from the very moment I came to your house and you took your package from me. I loved you so much that I went back to my office and I begged my manager to allow me to be the only person that delivers your package because I couldn't bear the thought of never seeing you again. That's how much I loved you. And for the record, my house is not close by. What? I thought you said you live close by. I lied. You stay here in Thinker's Corner. My house is all the way in Transekulu. What? Yeah. That's two different directions from this place. Exactly. Why would you do that? Hadiza, I think you've not been listening. I said I love you. I love you with everything in me. Yes, I may not offer you much, but I promise I will never make you cry. Well, except for when I make you laugh so hard that tears fall off your eyes. I would never say I am catching crews with you. Because I'm not. I love you too. Right, just step down. What is wrong with you? Are you high on some cheap drugs? Yes, I am. Like hell, I am, Chini. You see this? This is what you're going to get. Anytime you go back to see that woman. I only went there to pick my documents. Are you crazy? Did you inform me, Chidi. Did I inform you? You let me know you were going to pick up your documents. No! Of course not, because you're looking for an excuse to go and see the love of your life. The woman you cannot stop thinking about. So tell me, how did she react when she saw you? Did she scream? Did she jump and kiss you? Did she hug you, Chidi? Tell me! So this is what all this is about. Well, it interests you to know that she's in another relationship.
Yes, you are ready to go to work. If I don't push you to go to work, you can lazy around in that house for another two months and do absolutely nothing. Okay? So you're all dressed up, you go into your car, drive, go to work, dazzle the men, come back and tell me which of the men wants my women. Hey, yeah. You know you're crazy, right? I know, it's, I know. <laughs> I just don't want to go. Nandi. Ah, what did they do for you? As I never see for two days now, you're not going to answer my call. As a good friend that I am, I say like I go and check if you still there alive. I mean, they don't use a TV show. This guy is the Chris. Babes, meet Namdi. Namdi, meet Hadiza. Oh, hi, Namdi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. I am Hadiza. I am a Namdi. I have heard a lot about you. You've heard a lot about me? Yes. Alerts. Babes, time for work. Okay. Come on. Come on. Raise your legs. Oh, yeah. uh, you're tired, I know. You can do it. You're a strong woman. I believe in you. So go there. Come back and tell me all about it. Okay? Yes, you are going to go today. This is a good house too. Be Mike and you must be Pearl. Mm -hmm. I've heard so much about you. Your friend talks about you all the time. It's nice to finally meet you. Same here. Oh, she told you about? Yeah, all the time. She never shuts up. Okay, where? Where is she? Oh, she's off to work. Off to work? Yeah, I, I forced her to resume work today. You did? Yeah. You? Okay. Now I see why she has fallen so hard for you. <laughs> well, it's nothing. By the way, how was your flight? Perfect. Awesome. Is there anything in the kitchen? I'm famished. Uh, you can go freshen up. I'll make something for you. Say noodles. No, oh, it's so thoughtful of you. How would you like your eggs, by the way? Do you like it fried, boiled? Boiled. Boiled. Mm. Okay. Thank you. So be ready in 20. All right. <laughs> My guy. You know, I like my own now. Properly fry better onions and pepper. Yeah, papa. Oh, Gabby, fast though. Made it delicious. Made the food they're delicious though. Ray Ray. And call, let me finish up this game with you. Come out! Where is she? Papa. Bro, who is this mad woman? Eh? It is you and your mother and your entire generation that is filled with mad people. Where is that old house that cannot keep the man? Where is she? Okay, excuse me, please. I think you are in the wrong house. There's no stop. There's no body like that here. Like hell there is. Where is Hadiza? And what exactly do you want? Do you have no shame? <laughs> I mean, after taking the poor lady's man, you have the guts to come here. Hey, what exactly is your problem? Have you no shame? It is your friend that is shameless. Tell your friend to leave my husband alone. My husband. Isn't that hard? 
Is it so difficult? You know, what exactly are you going to do? Really? You no, know, tell me, what, what exactly are you going to do? How you want Let to know? Go. Listen, the next time I see you anywhere close to Hadiza or any of my friends, I will forget the respect I had for my late sister and beat you pure and black. You are mad. You, Say that you cannot be your favorite stupid. You are crazy. You are forgiven from your elder sister's friend. <laughs> Respect yourself. Now get out. What? I said get out. Yeah. I will forget the fact that you're pregnant and beat you to the point that your husband will not recognize you. Get out of this house. You cannot. I right. said get out. Get out. Are you mad? I said get out. Okay. You're pushing me. Get okay. out. Okay. I said get the hell out. See. Get out. Get out. Get out. Shut up. Shut up. Rubbish. Friends of the husband. Shut up. Rubbish! Animals! All of you! Bro, it's your baby house. Who gets shit at all? Oh boy, Ashoku. Jesus Christ. Let's go back to our game. Amaka, you were not supposed to go there for no reason whatsoever. That was the agreement. What were you trying to prove? He went there. So I thought going there would shake her up a bit. That was why I did what I did. I have repeatedly warned you to use your brain. Ejiki, don't insult me. Don't you dare. Mother, what was I supposed to do? Sit back and watch her crawl into his life? Hell no. Hell no. I had to react. How is that even possible? Wait a minute. Are you falling in love with Chidi? I don't understand. Are you crazy? What kind of stupid question is that? Because the only reason a woman would confront another over a man is if she feels threatened. Of course, I do feel threatened. Anything that comes between me and Chidi's money is a threat, so I had to react. Between you? Um, sorry, I meant, I meant us. Good. And the next time you try to pull such stunt again, please, Give me a heads up. Fine. 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 One more thing. Pearl is back. I know. This is so nice. I know. This Thank is you. nice. This is nice. Of course it's nice. I cooked it. How do you think this boy became fat and thickened? It was <laughs> by, oh my, boy, easy. by my culinary skills. You're the best. Mm. Oh my god. You know the wine this guy. You tried. That's the right word. Don't use the best for him. But he is. And that is... I, 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 I won't... It's better than... Uh, I made you okay. speechless, I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. I made you speechless. Okay, okay, no enjoy, boss. enjoy. Just try. Enjoy the food. You know I do better than this. You know, better, than the, better than a book, you said. So my girlfriend fell in love because of food. You know now. And other things. Hi. Guys, yeah, right. Oh, you know fell in love with bottomless. Maybe go. Okay. Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. Why did you come back from work so early? Um, Pearl called. She told me what happened, so I had to run back. <sighs> Namdi, I am so sorry for the embarrassment, please. Embarrassment? The only person that should be embarrassed is that mad woman yelling like a dog. Exactly. Amaka is the one to be embarrassed, not you. Okay? I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> <laughs> Missed you. Oh. Mm. See, I told you to go and get you. <laughs> no, don't, don't, just ask me. <laughs> when God were busy giving us the height, you were there. Yes, yes, collect this one behind. Do you really want to do this now? <laughs> well, I'll forgive you. The people's height is complemented with other things. Jesus no. Christ! <laughs> I think they'll make a perfect couple, sir. Mm. How? Oh. <laughs> Come on, babe. <laughs> Tell me, my love. How are you? I'm good. I missed you. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Well, he seems nice. Sim? Did you just say Sim? Babe, that guy is beyond nice. He is perfect. Perfect. Yes. Isn't that so strong an adjective to use for someone you barely know? I know everything about him. Yeah, the oh. ones he told me. Things like? He's from an embrace state. 
Okay. A second class upper graduate of mass communication from the University of Nigeria, Nsuka. Mm. That's all I know for now. Oh, that's all. Mm -hmm. I mean, the ones he told you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what I'm saying. What about the ones he hasn't told you? Are you sure you would still refer him as perfect when he finally does? He makes me happy. And at least he has loved me back to life. So it seems. But have you stopped for a minute to look at the bigger picture? The pictures? That you're probably back to where it all started with Chidi, if not worse. What do you mean? First of all, that guy looks like a playboy. Moreover, Hadisa, do you still remember your parents' reaction when you introduced Chidi to them? I mean, regarding his financial status. Now, what would be their reaction when you introduce Mike to them? I mean, Mike, whose situation is even worse compared to Chidi at that time. Have you? I mean, the guy is poor. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm on my way. Where? Same restaurant. Isn't that too open? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'm coming. Thank you. Nah, man. Guy, your appointment with this guy was, what, 6 p.m.? See the time, guys, only 2 p.m. Mama, um, I need to give you and your babe some space. I'll go down to the restaurant to grab some ice cream. Or lay better easy for my head. I'll wait there till 6 p.m. then. I will throw down to the man's place. It's very close. No, oh, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'm going to go see you later for this evening. Mm. <laughs> it's just like I go see you for the evening. That's my friend. I'll see you later, Jared. Enjoy yourself. All right, then. Babe, hmm? where is your friend? Uh, he uh, went for a meeting at New Haven Extension, so we have the house all to ourselves. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, babe, I was hoping we could talk about something. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. This beautiful woman, the most beautiful woman in the world, mm. wants to talk to an ugly guy like me. So, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> okay. Um, it's about work. Mm -hmm. Work? Okay. Yeah. You said you've been trying to get a job for some time now. Yeah? Um, yeah, yeah. So, I... I have a couple of friends in some offices who I believe can help in that regard. So I was thinking if it's okay by you, you forward your CV to me so I can send to them and see if there is anything they can do to help. Wow. Baby, that is so thoughtful. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to do that right away. Okay. Uh, babe, where are you going? To send you the CV, I just need to copy the files and update them. I'll be back. Silly you. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Yes, who knows me? You don't remember me? I'm sorry, I don't. I, I meet people every day, different kinds of people. I thought as much. Well, I am Janet in BC, mass communication <coughs> in Supa. You were two years ahead of me. Oh, uh, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you. It's nice to meet you again. Well, it's fine. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I... Uh... Oh, you work here. I, I work with NTA. I was transferred here two weeks ago. Oh, okay. It was nice meeting you. 
I have some packages I need to deliver, so um, maybe I'll see you some other time. Okay, sure. I'll see you around. Thank you very much. Oh, please, can I have your contact? I could need some deliveries too. To me, what is going on? I mean, what? Hey, Jiki, what is happening? You shamelessly sleeping with my wife? My wife, you mean? What are you saying? What are you talking about? What is he talking about? She's my son's mother. Amaka here is my big mama. Do not to call me that. Chiki, what did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? Maka, what is he talking about? Why? What have I done wrong? What did I ever do to deserve this? Maka, you're carrying our child. You're sleeping with my best friend, disrespecting our child. Under my roof? Well, on the contrary. What do you mean, on the contrary? What she means is that she has been sleeping with a man responsible for her pregnancy. Me. Hey, 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 come on. You're joking, isn't it? Hey, what is the matter with you? What is wrong with you? You made me leave Hadiza. The woman who gave me everything I ever wanted in this world. How could you? She has your business too. How could you? How could you? I ever do you. Is he breathing? Is he dead? What? Hold on, calm down. Fuck! I did not sign up for this. He's dead. I did not sign up for this. What, what, what are you saying? I did not hit him that hard. Calm down! Calm hit... down! Hold on. I have to find a way to fix this. Just, just, just calm down. What do you want to do? Just calm the fuck down! It was good. And how was yours? It was lonely. I'm sorry to hear about that. Why say sorry when you could do something about it? Really? Like what? House 5, First Avenue, New Haven. Uh, sorry? That's my address. You could come right away and do something about my boredom. I'm sorry, I can't make it. I'm engaged tonight. How about tomorrow? We'll see about it. Tomorrow then, okay? Good night, Janet. Yeah, sleep peacefully, Mike. And make sure you dream of me. Okay? Bye. Mwah. Oh my goodness, oh. What have I done? I've killed somebody. And you can have killed somebody. I've committed murder. Oh my goodness. Would you, would you calm down? Would you calm down? Calm down? It's you asking me to calm down. I just killed somebody. I'm going to jail. I'm going to die in jail. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Just, just, just calm down. Let me think. What did I do? What did I do? I didn't know this. Oh my god. Your security man is off today, right? It makes things easier. It's, it's, what are you asking me to do? What do you want to do? 
Will you shut your mouth and do what you're asked to do for once? Don't get my car to the compound now. What's wrong with you? Just some, <sighs> just a friend of mine from way back university. I met her today. Oh. Yeah, by the way, did you discuss my university education with anyone else? Yeah, Pell. Why did you ask? How is she doing, by the way? It's been a while I saw her. Oh, she's fine. She traveled to Benue State for work. She said she'll be back during the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, my regards to her when she calls. Sure. <laughs> Let me go make something for us to eat, okay? Okay. So what now? Um, babe, we'll have to wait 48 hours before reporting to the police. Okay? Just calm down. Everything is fine. Alright? It's okay. It's okay. And babe, tomorrow we're going to see Pearl and tell her everything. Alright? Okay. Alright, don't worry, okay? I'm here for you. Just calm down. I really want to know what her intentions are, what her reasons are. No woman will go to such such great lengths to jeopardize her friend's life. Especially her best friend. Remember the day I told you I was going to go grab an ice cream at the restaurant? I remember seeing her and the other mad woman who almost caused the scene at your girl's house. Same day. It felt strange seeing two women who almost stripped themselves apart, standing and laughing together like they have won a lottery. I wanted to tell you, but it skipped my mind. Those two women were just fronting for us and pretending to be fighting. Why do I have a feeling that Pearl is in the middle of something way, way bigger than all of us? And you know what? I think I might just have an idea of how to unravel this mystery. What do you intend to do about it? Sorry for keeping you waiting. Yeah. I had to manipulate my boss before leaving the office. Well, thank you for coming. Yes. Anything to be with you. So how long have you known her? Who? What are you talking about? Pearl. How long have you known Pearl? 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 Who is Pearl? Don't play dumb with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Why did she send you? Why did she put you up to this? How long have you known Pearl? Pearl? How long have you known Pearl? 
About 20 years now. 20 years. Hmm. Have you guys had any serious quarrels? Friends quarrel, so... But we find a way to sort ours out. No, I get it. I understand. What I mean is, have you guys had any recent... Any recent uh, quarrel? Is something serious? Say before or after Chidi? None that I can think of. Why are the questions? I know why I'm asking these questions, babe. They're very important. Why? I think... I think... She may be the dark arrow in your life. I think she's the cause of all your misfortunes. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. I think it's... I think it's high time I... I tell you the hidden truth of who I really am. What truth are you talking about? You see, I'm not just Mike. I'm not just Mike, the delivery guy. Or Mike, the poor guy. Or Mike, the one that lives in Transicolo. There's more. <sighs> Babe, I don't understand what you're talking about. My name is Mike. Yes, Mike Mwike, the son of the former Deputy Governor of Anambra State and the present Minister of FCT, the federal capital what? of Nigeria. Yes. I am sorry I know how this looks, but there's a logical explanation to this. So Namdu suggested that I make a disguise. All right, so I bought into the idea and decided to work in my own company as a delivery man. And that's how I ended up delivering your food. Wait, you mean you own Mickey Foodies? <sighs> you see, the whole story is more complicated than you think. But I had to do what I had to do. And I'm sorry. You see, when I got back from the States about four years ago, all my mom did was hound me about how she wanted me to get married. She wanted grandkids. She wanted me to get married. Give me grandkids. Give me grandkids. So I decided to give her a try. The first girl, Jennifer. Well, everything was going well until two weeks to our wedding. We found her in bed with my father's business partner, his colleague. In fact, this man is even way older than my father. And that was the end. The next person was Kike. I gave her all the money in the world, everything she ever wanted but she still found a way to steal as much as she wanted. These are not the kind of women I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. No. You see, my father met my mom when he had nothing. And even with all his wealth, she still respects him. That is exactly what I'm looking for. So you thought I was going to be after your money too? Baby, of course not. You didn't know anything about me. I know with you it was true. Baby, listen to me. I have felt more love. I have seen more love from you than I have ever in my entire life. I truly love you. I do. 
and I want to do right by you. That is if you will allow me. And if we are alive, I promise to do right by you. Okay, you just stop giving me high hopes. You know your parents won't allow you to marry a woman from the north. <laughs> My mom is from the north. Yeah. You don't have to say anything. All you have to do is say yes to us forever. And I promise to do the rest. I promise. Well, I don't think I am in for this discussion right now, Mike. What is it you know about my best friend? I can't believe you still call her your best friend. My naive girlfriend. You know what? I think it's best I show you who Pearl, your best friend, really is. Instead of telling you. Hello, Janet. Where are you? I applied for a job in our office, but wasn't employed. So I kept in touch with her in case there's an opening. After a while, she invited me to come over to her place and said there was something she needed me to do for her. When she told me that she needed me to seduce Mike and make him fall in love with him, I, I wasn't cool with it. Well, I couldn't say no because of the amount she offered to pay me. How much is it? 200,000 euro. She gave me all the information I needed to know my um, places I could bump into him. Pearl, when you brought me here to seduce Chidi Antin from Hadiza, I never knew GK was his friend, believe me. I don't care. What I needed you to do, you did. Pearl, that is why we want you to help us cover it up. It was a mistake. She never meant to kill him. Just like I said, I don't care whether he is dead or alive. Pearl, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I knew I, knew I could count oh, on you. Not so fast. What? I will still need something to be quiet, though. And what's that? 20 million naira. What? Twenty million naira, hell! Ah, uh? you're supposed to get enough money from twenty million. I don't understand. Amaka, I brought you into this. I know exactly what Chidi is worth. Twenty million naira, or I will sink. I know where she is. Chidi to ask him if he could go for a weekend. I don't want to tell him. I told him to go. He can go right away if he wants. I don't care. He should leave. Are you sure he did not see what happened and decided to go and call the police? No. Hell no. He did not see anything. In I'm fact, sure I am sure. He only came back when we had gone to dispose to this body. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll still be needing the 20 million era. It's a pearl. Yes. But pearl. What? Even if, even if we want to give the money to you, but 
You know she cannot assess it until he's confirmed dead and the will is read out. Exactly. Well, that wouldn't be a problem because I will make sure everything goes smoothly. Okay. For now, I'll just go. I'll be back in an hour with good news. Okay. I locked it, just open it. Trust her. I don't trust anybody. Even me? I don't even trust myself. It's okay. So it goes right. You're dead. You wish. The two of you cannot off my light. Never. Ichike, I trusted you. I gave you everything. We were best friends. What did I ever do to you? What? Amaka, I can understand. Because she's wicked. She's callous, she's a gold digger. But you... Did you keep with... She should be my party now, bro. Why? Why do you want to kill me? Why do you want me dead? Killing was not part of the plan. What I ever wanted was just your money. You should have asked. Do you know how many times I tried and got nothing? It's because you deserve nothing. You deserve nothing from me, Ejiki. Because you're a lazy parasite. That's what you are. As if you're any different. Isn't it Hadiza's wealth that made you who you are today? Was that not one feeding you before she came into your life? Please, Hadiza had generosity, Ejiki. What have you? Wickedness concealed in friendship. Callousness. I have no time to banter words with you, Ejiki. Officers, take them and make sure the two of you rot in jail. Remove. I swear. Move, move, move. Just Please, I'm sorry. Go, 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 go. Move. Go, go, go. 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 Move, move, move. Calm down now. Move. So sorry. It was all a ploy by my best friend. I swear I didn't initiate this. I am sorry. I guess we both had the worst of friends after all. What do you mean by that? Madame Pell. You fool. Do not say my name, you ingrate. How dare you? After all I did for you? What exactly did you do for me, Hadiza? Everything. Every damn thing you own, I gave them to you. Yet you took the one thing that meant everything to me. I never took anything from you, Belle. Really? Yes. Bami Dele. You took Bobby Derry from me. No, 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 what? no, I can't do this. I can't keep suffering as a thought of your actions. Wait, wait, what action are you talking about? What did I do? What exactly have I done? Of course, now she's playing dumb with you. Me playing dumb? Baby, truly, I, I don't understand what you're saying. 
go to that too. You know what, Pearl? You know what? I can't do this anymore. You understand? Read my lips. My heart no more belongs to you. Uh, I've moved on, okay? No. no, you're joking, right? You tell me you don't mean what you just said. I mean every word. I mean every word that comes out of my mouth. You can't do that to you. Know, me. you can just have fun. Just go and have fun with your wife. No. This officially over. No, baby. Baby, see. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What if I did? I did. I'm sorry. Fair, it's okay. Baby, I love you. Just, you know I love you. You know you don't. Please. Please go and have fun. Okay. <laughs> no, you can't leave me. You, you can't just leave me like this. Baby, please. <laughs> you sir. Baby. We left our kids on the And when I ran to my best friend to cry out my sorrows, behold, she was there. Hugging and romancing the same man. The same man. You had everything. Everything you ever needed and the ones you do not need. See that guy. That guy is too hot to ignore. Like when I say hot, I mean hot like a heat. He's too hot. I'm sure you think the same if you see him. Look, the only hot man that I know in this world is my man Chidi. Ah, forget that one. <laughs> <laughs> but come to think of it, Bill. You know you're in a relationship, right? So? You shouldn't even be considering doing anything with another man. Why? Because Bami Dele will not find it funny if he finds out you're cheating on him. Hey, forget that one. That guy has forgiven you more than twice. This time around, won't be funny. I know. But listen, this time around, I will not find out because I'll be extra careful. Okay? And why can't you just let this guy go? Must you date every fine guy you meet? I just want to have fun, like... Okay, fine. This will be the last time. Pearl. Mm -hmm. Just one last time, and then I will close it. <laughs> this one. That was why Bam Dele left you. He found out you were cheating with some guy. Same guy that I warned you about. That's not true. That's true. You know what I am talking about. The day you saw Bamidele at my place was the day he came to tell me he was leaving. I had no reason to stop him. That guy deserves to be happy after all you did to him. I deserve it. I am so sorry. Hey! I don't have your time yet. You sent Amaka to take Chidi away from me. And you succeeded. And when Mike came along, you were so pained. You were bitter. You couldn't stand seeing me happy again. Then you sent, where is that thing? To stand in as his classmates. Well, <laughs> One thing you should know, Mike here never studied in any university in Nigeria. Yes! He did his first and second degree abroad. Well, I would say thank you so much for saving me from the toxic relationship I had with Chidi. 
And for that, I will let you go with everything that I gave you. But one thing you should know, I never want to see your face or anything that concerns you ever again. Did you get that? Starting from here. Let's go, baby. Adiza, I... Adiza! I know we have two different religions. I know. But there's one thing we... we share. And that's our heartbeat. My heart beats for you as much as yours beat for me. I want to wake up every single morning to your beautiful face. And I want you to marry me and make this dream come true. Say yes. And I promise to be the best husband in the world for you. Please. I'm not really sure that love exists. I'm not really sure that love exists. Thank you. No, thank you. Cause if he does, <laughs> why can't I feel it? Last time, all I felt was pain. Yeah. Cause yesterday, I saw this beautiful, beautiful things that was said about love. But yet I can't feel it. Just yesterday, I saw this beautiful, beautiful things that was said about love. But yet I can't feel it. But when tomorrow comes, I don't wanna be single no more. I just wanna be with the right one. I don't want to be all alone I just want to love again I don't want to be single no more I just want to be with the right one I don't want to be all alone I just want to love again Ooh, love again My friends keep telling me how beautiful it is to be in love. I have heard stories about how beautiful it is to be in love. I've tried it once, but he failed me. I've tried it twice. But he felt me All I got was cheating, betrayal and lies So I let go But when tomorrow comes I don't wanna be single no more I just wanna be with the right one I don't wanna be all alone I just wanna love again I don't wanna be single no more I just wanna be with the right one. I don't wanna be all alone. I just wanna love again. 